Hey folks, Ron here with Oregon Hot Rod. Uh, in this series of videos, I'm going to be uh, showing you my uh, process I went through to put an electric motor on my bead roller. Uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you three different motors that I selected from. The motor that I, I chose, why I chose it, and uh, then take you through the whole process that I went through to put that motor, that electric motor, to my bead roller. So keep watching, learn a few things, and uh, see some stupidity, I guess. All right. Hey, welcome to Oregon Hot Rod. Welcome to the Oregon Hot Rod Experience, where we're gonna share information with you. We're gonna show you our successes and our failures our mistakes and our solutions. We'll go on adventures, we we'll build cars, we'll do shop projects, and we'll do a whole bunch more. But most of all, we're gonna entertain you with reality and stupidity. So subscribe now and continue to watch your Hot Rod Experience. Smash that like button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. Hey folks, Ron here with Oregon Hot Rod. Uh, so uh, today I want to go over a little bit. I've been trying to uh, get together parts to put together a, a, a bead roller. I bought one of the uh, Eastwood bead rollers and looked at it and I go, hmm, this is a lot of work. And so I got online, looked at a bunch of videos like everybody else does. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are just using a, a, a half inch drill and making these uh, bead rollers out of that. And I go, that's kind of cheesy. But so I decided I, wanna, I want to uh, put a motor on mine. And so what I did is I picked up this electric motor over here. I wired in a, a sewing machine switch. Got a six pole toggle for reverse and forward. And uh, then this here little uh, half horsepower, one and a half horsepower Dayton motor. Well, it works pretty good, except for one thing. When you push on deal, you can barely. It comes on on low on low end, but then when you start giving it the fuel or the given it more pedal, it kicks into a, a, just a full on deal. So there isn't like a gradual upgrade and stuff. So I'm gonna can this motor here. And I went and I got a garage door opener. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this garage door opener all set up here and uh, see if I can't make it work. So we're gonna tear we're gonna tear down the garage door opener and hopefully uh, make it make it work. First thing so is we need to test the motor to make sure it works. Got a plug, got to plug it in here. Look at there! It works! All right. All right, so let's tear this baby down and see what we got going on.
See, luckily I got prepared for this here and I got all my stuff together here. I brought my handy dandy little uh, drill motor here already. I'm gonna tear this thing. Start here. Start pulling off pieces. Now what I wanna do is I want to get down to the bare bones on this thing. All I really want to use is the motor and this chain, and that's about it. The, uh, the electronics inside here, uh, not something it's not anything I'm really interested in using uh, all that is is just a fluff that I don't really need so let's uh, get to the next part here where am I at here okay so what do we got here That's well, pretty simple. So it looks like we have a motor here. We have a gearbox here, a gear drive. And we have reversing up here, looks like. I think. And uh, then we have this circuit board. Well, for sure, we don't need the circuit board. So we're gonna get rid of that. Right. Circuit board, gone. Suspect that this here little uh, starter deal here, or whatever it is, uh, it's probably a regulator of some sort, it has to do with the reversing of the engine. So Don't do this at home. You could wind up hurt.
Real simple. Just took the three wires here, coming off the red, the orange, and the yellow. The red is your main lead, so that's your main hot. Then the hot, the white, goes into the yellow and the and the orange for the forward and reverse. Real simple. Dang! How did I get so lucky? So now, the first thing I want to do to see is to see if my uh, rheostat or my uh, sewing machine pedal will work on this to slow it down. So that's kind of the major part of this here that uh, makes this work for me. The way the, the way the way this switch switch works is that it comes in. You have one wire that goes through to one side of the plug. So one this wire goes all the way through. But this one here breaks inside here. It comes in here, goes through the rheostat, and comes back out to give it uh, more juice. Uh, as it as it's coming out lesser more juice. So we're going to see if this will work on this uh, electric motor here. Fortunately, this doesn't work either. However, it does give me the ability to run a chain sprocket, an easy setup here to hook up the, the gear drive. There's no speed adjustment. Well, that sucks. End of video. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, Say hi. everybody. Say anyway, keep watching. Learn a couple of things. Watch us tear some shit up or stuff up. Excuse me. And. Uh, Smash that like button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. Like OregonHotRod.com. Like OregonHotRod.com. Bitch.